Let's get into it. What a week. CNN anchor and turtleneck enthusiast Don Lemon apologized and will participate in formal training after he declared last week that Nikki Haley isn't in her prime, saying that a woman is only considered to be in their prime in their 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. Generous. This is, of course, a terrible thing for CNN to say about people. It's something people should say about CNN. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nikki Haley is now selling merch based on those comments. Uh, supporters can order a koozie that reads, pass my prime, hold my beer. Does it completely make sense? No. Nevertheless, she persisted. <laughs> Meanwhile, the world famous dingbat narcissist defended by the dumbest motherfuckers on earth, Marianne Williamson, may primary President Biden. Wow, okay, okay. Some people in this audience have crystals by their bed. Uh, <laughs> anybody got a Scorpio necklace on? Don't tweet at me. <laughs> anyway, she's teasing an important announcement on March 4th in Washington, D.C., suggesting she may primary President Biden. We shouldn't get ahead of ourselves, though. The announcement could also be it's Pisces season. In a series of unusual interviews with multiple news outlets, the foreperson of the grand jury established to investigate Trump and his cronies attempts to overturn the 2020 election strongly hinted that Trump was among those recommended for indictment. I don't think that there are any giant plot twists coming. Uh, love her energy. Love agreeing to talk to every reporter but being super coy. This just in. I'll never tell. <laughs> Definitely not supposed to be giving interviews. Great choice. <laughs> I will say, though, accountability for Trump would be an incredible plot twist that none of us will see coming. Speaking of the devil, the world-famous amateur golf cheat himself, Donald Trump, visited East Palestine, Ohio this week, bringing pallets of Trump-branded water bottles for residents. We're bringing thousands of bottles of water, Trump water, actually, most of it. Uh, some of it we had to go to a much lesser quality water. <laughs> He's back, baby. <laughs> Firing on every goddamn cylinder. Trump also announced the opening of his new Trump water bottling plant right there in East Palestine. Trump wrapped up his trip with a visit to the local McDonald's where he said this to the employees. A nice, beautiful looking group of people. So I know this menu better than you do. Okay? I probably know it better than anybody in here. It's always inspiring to see someone in their absolute element. Beyonce at a microphone, Simone Biles on the mat, Donald Trump placing a huge order at a potentially toxic McDonald's. <laughs> I know it better than Meatball Ron, I can tell you that much. He may know the menu of Buca de Beppo better than me, but not this menu. He's Italian. Can I make you care about that? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm going to try. Maybe it'll get your wheels turning. <laughs> can he make the Republicans anti-Italian again? <laughs> That's a hat for him. Uh, Transportation Secretary Mayor Pete subsequently visited East Palestine on Thursday and had this to say about Trump. One thing he could do is uh, uh, express support for reversing the deregulation uh, that uh, happened on his watch. More politicians should come to the toxic chemical cloud to throw shade at each other. The rail housewives of East Palestine. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Immigration advocates are criticizing CBP-1, the mobile app the Biden administration plans to use to handle screenings at the U.S.-Mexico border, saying it's rife with bugs and disadvantages the most vulnerable asylum seekers. Even worse, it's impossible to get all the citizen trophies if you're not willing to buy additional asylum tokens. I don't like these in-app purchases. It's addictive. It takes advantage of people. The administration plans to rebrand the app as CBP Max and put house hunters on it. Republicans... <laughs> Republican Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy gave Fox News host Tucker Carlson exclusive access to security footage from the January 6th attack on the Capitol. You know, kind of like a coach reviewing game footage to figure out exactly why his team lost. <laughs> Senator Bernie Sanders, who was in New York City to promote his new book this week, accidentally found himself in the background of a TikTok dance video. For those of you at home, Bernie looks at these kids with the weary disgust of a Jewish grandfather who's just seen you put locks on a cinnamon raisin bagel. <laughs> the deans of Vanderbilt University's Peabody School have issued an apology after it was discovered that they sent out a statement on the Michigan shooting using chat GPT rather than a more personal heartfelt message. Apparently people knew something was up when they got to the sentence, unfortunately humans need to die so that I can write all the BuzzFeed quizzes. <laughs> 
hey, you got time for to write that letter. That's not what ChatGPT is for. You know? It's not for anything. <laughs> we don't know what it's for. But it's not for that. The Labor Department has filed a report that a sanitation company owned by Blackstone illegally used more than 100 children to clean a slaughterhouse in Nebraska, even hiring the same child twice under different names. I don't understand the big deal. Kids love animals. <laughs> that was my favorite one today. <laughs> 61 British companies participated in a four-day work week pilot program, and 56 of them, or 92%, now say they will continue with a four-day week going forward. According to the study... <laughs> Sit down. Here we go. According to the study, oi, extra time for a pint of footy with the lads in it. <laughs> you make me do this, and then you fucking look at me, <laughs> and then you look, what did I do wrong? I really, I tried. Steven gave me a fucking okay sign. Like a white supremacist. <laughs> oi, extra time for a footy with the lads in it. <laughs> Oh, it's your time with fucking. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't do accents. Not one of my not one of my skills. Not an arrow in my quiver. I'll keep moving. Former German Chancellor Angela Merkel was apparently prank called by Russians pretending to be Petro Poroshenko, the former president of Ukraine. This was, of course, a breach of trust for Merkel, who had already begun searching for President Poroshenko's runaway refrigerator. <laughs> Another favorite. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stand for these because they're tough. Here we go. The superintendent of a Texas school district has resigned after a third grader found a gun the school administrator left in the bathroom of Rising Star Elementary School. Yeah. As a standard Texas procedure, the resignation came after the third grader pointed the gun at the adult and said, I'm the superintendent now. <laughs> said the superintendent, I made a terrible mistake. I should have made sure there were enough guns for the whole class. A group of neo-Nazis gathered outside a Broadway theater to protest the opening performance of the musical Parade starring Ben Platt. Everyone's a critic. The, <laughs> the show dramatizes the true story of a Jewish factory worker who was falsely accused of murder and killed by an anti-Semitic mob. The whole thing is pretty shocking. A Jewish factory worker? <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, New York City's Metropolitan Transportation Authority is warning riders of the dangers of subway surfing after instances of riding on the outside of trains more than quadrupled last year. Authorities are blaming social media. The MTA added, in light of this alarming statistic, we will be working round the clock to ensure that the outsides of our trains are as unwelcoming as the insides. <laughs> The city of Laguna Beach has passed a strict ban on the sale and use of balloons of any kind on public property. Said the city council, we all love balloons, but with a little thought and creativity, we'll soon find even better ways to strangle marine wildlife. <laughs> the United States will experience an historic winter storm this week with multiple states around the country expected to receive 9 to 12 inches. 9 to 12 inches sounds fun in theory, but it's just more than you need. <laughs> Starbucks has debuted three new beverages, each made with oat milk, espresso, and olive oil. Yep. Mm-hmm. The second you think Starbucks is done innovating, they'll surprise you with a totally groundbreaking new way to make their bathrooms a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, those drinks only come in size, a oh, mamma mia. All right. <laughs> I still, honestly, I lost my confidence from the... The, from the British. That was better. That one was better. That one was better. <laughs> In it. <laughs> Meanwhile, according to a new draft guideline released by the FDA, plant-based milks made from soy, oats, or almonds are welcome to be labeled as milk. If these guidelines go into effect, it will mark a reversal of the Trump administration, uh, which said, and this is a quote, almonds do not lactate while it is the liberal position that lactation is a sacred ritual between a child and the yellow peanut M&M. <laughs> Paints a little picture in your mind. <laughs> if you're not careful. That being said, I do think Almond Breeze went too far, referring to their drinks as Big Almond Milkers. <laughs> the Phoenix Mercury confirmed this week that Brittany Griner would be re-signing with the WNBA team. Excellent trade for the Phoenix Mercury. Anyone who knows the game knows that she is much stronger on offense than Russian arms dealer Victor Merchant of Death Boot. <laughs> Merchant of Death? More like Merchant of Turnovers. I want to tell you guys something. 
I did not write that sports joke. But I did write the thing about the turnovers and I was super proud of it. And then it fucking shot the bed. In response to Will Smith's infamous slap at last year's Oscars ceremony, Academy CEO Bill Kramer announced the 2023 Oscars will have a new crisis team that will be prepared for anything. We have snipers covering every angle, said Kramer, adding, Alec Baldwin will be in the rafters. <laughs> they said it was what happened because of the slap, but I have a feeling it's because of what happened at the BAFTAs. Angela Bassett did the thing, Viola Davis, my woman king, Blanche Kate, you're a genius, and Jamie Lee, you are all of us. <laughs> There's nothing left to say about that. Spotify has added a new feature, an AI DJ called X, that not only mixes a playlist, but also adds computer-generated commentary detailing its choices. For instance, mine played a Weezer song and told me it's because I'm a dork-ass weenie. <laughs> and then just laugh for the whole song. According to scientists, the signature songs of humpback whales may have been signs of loneliness. Since the whale population has been growing, they are recording fewer calls. Or maybe the whales just decided they've had enough of the apps. That's how it sounds in the ocean now. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> a species of pig crossbred with a wild boar to withstand Canadian winters has been growing in number and devastating local wildlife ever since a few farmers let some of their pigs loose during a downturn. These super pigs are stronger and more intelligent than other livestock, can take down adult deer, and are clever enough to devise ways to hide from hunters, including dressing up like a sexy lady and seducing the hunter. <laughs> <laughs> One method of hunting the pigs is GPS tagging a single pig and letting that pig lead you back to the other hidden pigs. Of course, that works. That's what I've been saying for years. That's what I've been saying we should do to Prince Andrew. <laughs> and finally... A large mysterious metal sphere washed up on a beach in Japan this week, baffling police and residents. Still, I urge everyone to remain calm. We have nothing to sphere but sphere itself. <laughs> <laughs>